guys had a few comments where um, some of you were after understanding or, or knowing how I managed to get um, some of the information inside of the schedule. Um, so just open up the same model here. Just going to go down to my mechanical views uh, and just onto my mechanical floor plan. Um, so for example, we've set up um, spaces and zones inside of our building here. Um, and because of that, automatically when you place a component into a zone, it will pick up that it is in a specific zone or a specific area. If I just open up my schedule over here on the right hand side and just do a WT. Uh, let's just close the 3D view. And let's just do a WT. Um, so it's as simple as just choosing that you want to have these listed. Um, so for example, in your schedule, if we go down and look at our fields that we have, um, quite simply, by default when you do um, this schedule, you'll get these um, available fields, so these properties available. But what we've got the ability to do is because we're looking at air terminals, it knows that they are going to be linked to both rooms and spaces. So quite simply, if you come down to select space here, or indeed room, whichever you prefer, if you choose space, you've got the ability to then choose what you want from that set of available properties. So I've simply said that I would like space number and space name and put those over into the list. We can do exactly the same thing with room if we should want to. So I can come across and say that I would like to get the room name and the room number into the list. Let's just move these up. I'm not 100% sure if I've got room names and numbers in the list, but we'll soon find out. That gets added. Press OK. And that will link and update your schedule. If we now just go back to an architectural floor plan, just to show you that that's now all working, if I go into my floor plan for level one, if I go to my architecture tab, go to a room and define this as being a room. Make sure you don't edit the uh, the room tags, it's always a good start. So with that room, I want that to be called um, Robin's office, and I want the room number to be 501. From there, I should be able to just close that window, should be able to go straight back to my split screen, and we should see that instantly that has been updated. The same is absolutely true for the space information that I have on my eternal schedule. Hopefully that's helped. Um, so literally it's just a case of choosing from the fields that you have available inside of your air terminal schedule. From this drop down list this will show you other available information. Choose space and send the information you want across. Hope that helps. Catch you next time.